Good morning and welcome to The Gold Spot. I'm Damian White. I'm here with my associate Todd Graff and it's Wednesday, January 13th. Um, we've seen obviously a lot of things going on in the last year or so um, with everything that's happened with the pandemic, central bank responses and things like that. Um, we've also seen a lot of investors being um, drawn towards alternative assets, gold and silver being one of them over the last year or so specifically. Um, recently, we've seen a big fervor into a, another alternative asset, mainly cryptocurrencies and Bitcoin. Todd, would you be able to tell us a little bit about some of the similarities between gold and then this new attraction towards cryptocurrencies? Yeah, absolutely, Damien. So the, the similarities between cryptocurrency, mainly Bitcoin and gold and silver, just the fact that there's a limited supply, there's scarcity with both of these assets, meaning you can't create them out of thin air like the central banks do with our, with our currency. They can't print more Bitcoin, you can't create gold out of nothing. So this scarcity is what people are looking for right now to protect themselves. Uh, people refer to uh, Bitcoin is digital gold. Mm -hmm. You know, gold's been around for thousands of years. Bitcoin's been around for about 10 years. Um, so there's definitely some some similarities between these two. And I think people just really like the, the fact that, you know, they can't be controlled. The supply can't be controlled by any governments or any central agencies. Mm, that's true. That's very interesting. Um, I've noticed that the it seems to be getting to be a very frothy speculative market and a lot of volatility. Is there is there anything out there that investors should really be either concerned with or, or you know looking out for as opposed to it's you know gold seems to be a little bit more stable and and not quite as crazy of a of price swings in the asset. Yeah, absolutely. You know, and I've I've been involved with Bitcoin for since 2016, so for about four years now. And I can tell you that whenever there's this type of speculation, you know, we have people going all in on Bitcoin. They think it's gonna be a get rich quick scheme. There's even rumors of people uh, mortgaging their, their houses to put, to put uh, as much money as they can in Bitcoin. And usually whenever that happens, you know, there will be a pullbacks. It's not going to go straight up forever. It is a, it's very interesting technology. It's very new. Um, I, I recommend that people take a look at it. Uh, but when you, when you want something to protect wealth in this type of environment, I think gold and silvers should be, gold and silver should be the majority of your portfolio into alternative assets. Uh, you know, it's much easier for people. Um, you don't have to be a, a technology uh, wizard in order to figure it out. You know, Bitcoin, there's a lot of things that could go wrong when you take it off the exchanges. Things can, uh, you can lose it, you can be hacked. Um, gold and silver is a little bit easier to protect, in my opinion. Yes, very interesting. So, all right, everybody. I mean, be careful out there. There's a lot of things going on. There's obviously a big appetite for alternative assets to get away from central banks in this fiat currency. Um, there seems to be some new emerging technologies for options for investors. Um, we recommend certainly diversifying into all of them. If you have questions about gold and silver, please give us a call, uh, call sbcgold.com. And uh, until next time at the Gold Spot. Thank you, everybody.